Hello everyone, so in this lesson we're going to look at some algebra basics. So for example, if I write down 3x squared, the 3, which is the number in the front, is called a coefficient. The x, which is the letter, we're going to call that the variable. Then the 2 is going to be called an exponent. If for some weird reason your teacher calls it an indice, that's also okay, but that's not really that popular. Usually it's exponent, and so we can have different types. We could have something like this. So this number in the front, we call that the coefficient. This is the variable, and this is the exponent. We could also have something like this. Now people say, Kevin, there's no coefficient. Guys, there is. It's a 1, but you don't have to write it if it's a 1. So just remember, coefficient, variable, and exponent coefficient, variable, exponent. So just to make sure you've got that, maybe you pause this video. The x is the variable. The 3 is the exponent. And the 5 is the coefficient. Now in algebra, you could have sums that look like this. That's number 1. You could have something like that. Or you could maybe even just have that. So this one at the top has one, two, three terms. So we will call this a trinomial. This one has one, two terms. So we'll call that a binomial. You know, like a bicycle, it has two wheels. This one's like a tricycle. It's got three wheels. And when you only have one, then we call it a monomial. So all of them end with no meal, then you just got tri, bi, and mono. So if it's one term, that's monomial. Two terms, binomial. And three terms will be a tricycle, so it's a trinomial. So this is your bicycle, trinomial, and then you just got to remember mono. All right, so maybe if you want to pause this video and then you can try this one. So here we're saying how many terms? Well, that's one, two, three. So that'll be three terms. Then they're saying the coefficient of the first term. So we look at the first term and remember the coefficient is the number in the front. And so that will be a three. Let me just write that there in case it doesn't fit in. And then constant term. Okay, so we said that if you have something like three x squared, the three is the coefficient. The two is the exponent. And the x is the variable. Now the word vary means change, if something can change, okay? So in number C, they're asking you for the constant term. So it's the one that can't change. So it can't be this, because that has an x, and that x can change because it's called a variable. This one has an x, so it can't change because it has a variable. But this one does not have an x, and so this is called the constant term, because it will always be 2. Whereas the one in the middle, for example, if x is 1, then that becomes 4 times 1, which is 4. And if x was 2, then it would become 4 times 2, which is 8. And so this whole term can change. However, this 2 will always be a 2. So it's called the constant term. Here we have something that has 4 terms. So if it goes more than 3, or if it has more than 3 terms, then just call it a poly no meal. Poly means many. So if it was one term, remember that's a monomial. Two is a binomial. And three is a trinomial. If we go further than that, then we just call it a polynomial because poly means many. Here's a question. A range in descending powers of x. So descending you need to know that that means going downwards. If we said ascending, then it means going upwards. So they say arrange it in descending powers of x. Powers are these things. They're also called exponents. 
So descending means from biggest to smallest. Okay, so this one has a two, this one has a three. This one seems to have nothing, but remember that actually means it has a one. And this one really has nothing, so that one's got a zero. So the largest one would be this one. So you put that one in the front. The next one is the two, so you write all of that like that. The next one is this. And then lastly, at the end, you've got minus one. Let's practice this a bit. So here we're going to arrange this in descending order, and they're always talking about the exponents. They're not looking at the numbers in the front. And then remember, if there's nothing there, then it's a 1. So descending means from biggest to smallest, so that's the biggest one over there. Then it's this one. Then it would be this one, so that's minus 663. Then it's this one. And then it's this one. And there we have it. So here's the last question. The first one says arrange it in ascending order. So ascending means from smallest to biggest. So the smallest one would be this one here because it's got a 1. Then it would be the 2, then the 3, then the 4, and then the 5 because we're going from smallest to biggest. So the smallest one is a 2x. Then it's this here. So you take the negative that's in front of it and you take that with it. Then the next one is the x3, which has a negative in front, so you take that along. Then it's this one over here. And then lastly, it's this one at the end. There we go. The next question, how many terms? Well, that's one, two, three, four, five terms. And then lastly, what is the coefficient, so that's the number in the front, of the x2 term? So let's look down here at the x2 term it's going to be minus 8. You must include the sign, and so that will be minus 8. There we go, guys. Thank you for watching.